he we we serve such an such an awesome God. I tell you, just feel so good to be in the house tonight. You know, I mean, I know I ain't the only one feeling what I'm feeling. Hallelujah! There's a a, a victory. Wow, the presence of God is just there's a flow. Hallelujah! There's an anointing. I mean, it just it just feels just feels good. And I'm I agree with you, Pastor. I'm I'm believing. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm believing. For, and I ain't just up here whistling Dixie. Hallelujah. I'm believing that when we go, hallelujah, we're going to have a good time in God. Hallelujah. We're going to have a good time together. Hallelujah. I'm excited about that. I'm looking for it every year. Hallelujah. Wherever, like, you know, Pastor said, we didn't win sometimes and we, you know, kicked the tumbleweeds or whatever. But we, we still had a good time, though. Just the camaraderie and the unity and you know, getting to know my brothers and getting to know my sisters. Hallelujah. But I'm looking forward to downtown Dallas, boy. That's, yeah. <laughs> Them hotels. Oh, yeah, boy. That's, that's an experience, man. You be like, the doors open like a different. Okay, I ain't going. Man, when he, yeah, up them, them, them hotels, boy, they, it's like, man, you just, you go in the restroom and you're like, wow. You're like, man. Okay, I ain't going. Yeah, but yeah, so I'm excited. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. He is such an awesome God. Just got a word for you. Just just on my heart. Hallelujah. Just the leading of the Lord from what was preached this morning and then what was the encouragement that has gone out tonight. I mean, just I'm excited about God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I believe in my God. He's just been so good. Hallelujah to this church. He's been so good to me and my family. He's, he's, he's just that kind of God. When we don't deserve it, he still bless you when we don't deserve it. He's still protecting when we don't deserve it. He's st- Hallelujah. Provision. Praise God. And Pastor was talking about that this morning. He wants you to be blessed in all areas of your life. Hallelujah. We, we, we shouldn't walk around feeling guilty because God has blessed us. We shouldn't be walking around feeling shame because God has blessed us. Hallelujah. God, he, that's just the kind of God he is. He, he's just good to us. Hallelujah. So if you're blessed, hallelujah, say I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm telling you, and you know, you got some. Okay. You got some. Hey, why brother always blessing? Why sister always bless? I mean, you gotta rejoice with those that rejoice, weep with those that weep. Your day coming, but in the meantime, it's all right to give God. Come on now, all right, all right, hallelujah. And I just thank God. And boy, they some folks ain't gonna like it, but if you change your attitude a little bit, it, okay, I ain't getting on nobody. Hallelujah. But we are gonna be in the Word of God tonight, Psalm ninety five. Hallelujah. Verses 1 through 3. That's what I'm going to start with. It says, Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. Hallelujah. The title of the message tonight is Our Privilege to Praise Him. Hallelujah. Our privilege to praise him. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Mighty God, we just come before you, Lord God, and thank you in advance for what you're going to do in this house, Lord. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in the awesome name of Jesus. So I was looking at this church, brothers. Hallelujah. And I was thinking about what a privilege it is to praise this God. What a privilege it is to know this God. What a privilege to have a place to go to where you can experience his presence, his love, his grace, and his mercy. Hallelujah. Tonight, oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Make us joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Hallelujah. I come to celebrate Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. I didn't come with no baggage. I'm laying aside troubles. I'm laying aside anxieties. I'm laying aside the cares of this world. I'm laying aside worry. Hallelujah. Come and give my God some praise because God is worthy of the praise. God is worthy of the worship. Hallelujah. And you can't look at your situation tonight and you can't look at your circumstance tonight and say when. Hallelujah. When I get the blessing. When I see the blessing. Hallelujah. You got to trust and know that God is an on time God. Hallelujah. You got to trust and know that today, hallelujah, this day, I'm going to bless him. This day, I'm going to rejoice in him. And it's going to turn around. Hallelujah. The problem is some folks don't want to move until they see something. 
Some folks don't want to give God the glory until they see something. But that's not faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. I don't see it right now, but in the meantime, while I'm waiting on my blessing, I'm going to get up off my seat and I'm going to give God some glory. Hallelujah. People look at you and be like, man, he always praising God. He always giving God glory. Everything must be right. Oh, no. Everything ain't right. Hallelujah. But we got to learn to celebrate. In the midst of trial and test, we got to learn to celebrate this Jesus. We got to learn to lift him up. Hallelujah. When we don't feel like it. That's why it's called a sacrifice of praise. You know, a lot of times people say, offer up a sacrifice of praise. And you're like, what that mean? But when you're going through, okay. When you're going through, see, it's easy to praise when everything's going well. Hallelujah. God is a good God. But, but when you're going through, and it say a sacrifice of praise, it going to cost you something to get up out that seat. It going to cost you something to lift that head up. It's going to cost you something to open that mouth wide and say, God, you're still good. I don't understand what's going on right now. But God, I'm still coming up in the house to give you some glory. What a privilege. What a privilege. And we can't never lose that. Hallelujah. We, we, we can't never lose that enthusiasm. We, we can't never lose that. Hallelujah. That, that, that wanting to give them glory. And you know, Pastor, you said something so, so powerful this morning. It's not an exchange thing. This, this morning he was talking about exchange and I love if you and all that. No. God is so good. He's unconditional love. Her unmerited favor. Hallelujah. Protection, provision. God is good. God is great and worthy to be praised. And when, when we get a hold of that, I say we. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I ain't in the mountaintop all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we can learn this. But if we can learn to praise God in the midst of circumstances, test and trial, it makes a difference. It changes your perception. It changes your outlook. And people will look at you and know you're going through what you're going through, but you still got a smile on your face. You still got some joy. Hallelujah. He was talking about a, a, a happy God. The God we serve is a God that is happy, and he wants you to be happy. He wants you to be happy in your marriage. He wants you to be happy at your job. He wants that for you. But we got to want it. You know, sometimes we so doom and gloom. Sometimes, man, we so doom and gloom. You just like, say, man, you got to get, get that cloud off of you. Hallelujah. And you know, we all go through seasons, but every service. Okay. But every service. Come on now. Hallelujah. I, I thank God for the privilege to praise him. I, I thank God for the opportunity to worship him. Because I, I can do that in this time. You ain't got to wait to come to the church house to give God some glory. You ain't got to wait to come. Hallelujah. You can do it on your job, in your car, in your house, wherever. Hallelujah. Because he's so good. I'm telling you, the goodness of God, I tell you, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. I mean, absolutely mind-blowing. You, you think you, and I'm not saying, you know, we think we got God figured out. But you think good was... You think God was good this year? Oh, I can't wait to see him next year. You think, oh man, I'm, I'm believing him, man. You think God was good this year? I just can't wait to see what he's going to do for me next year. And it's not because I'm trying to get something out of God. It's just the God we serve is a good God. He blows your mind. He blows your mind, man. You just, you just stand in awe. And you're just like, what? God, you're so good. You can't even... You know, thank you. Don't even do justice. When I just say thank you, don't even do justice. He's just like, you're like, wow, God. Wow, I'm just like, wow, God, you're just so awesome. Hallelujah. I was talking to my wife. Hallelujah. And we just sitting in the kitchen talking. And, you know, going over things, trying to take care of business. And, you know, married life. Trying to take care of business, make sure this right and, and that's right. 
And God has been so good. And I'm just looking like, what happened? I'm just talking about abundance. And I ain't, I ain't no millionaire or nothing like that, but God is good. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't no lack. Hallelujah. Just, I mean, stuff coming in. And I mean, just windows of heaven, man. Hallelujah. Windows of heaven just, just pouring out and, you know, blessing. And, and not only that materially, but, but, but spiritually getting to talk to people, getting, getting to talk to people at my job and, you know, talking about the goodness of God. And they just, hallelujah. Hey, my blessings come from him. He the one that buttered my bread and sweetened my tea. And I'm not ashamed to tell him. You might say you did it, but I know better. It's the God I serve that did it. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Mm. That's what I'm telling you. You don't ever want to get too big for your britches. Hallelujah. You don't ever want to get too big for your britches. Things going well, whatever the case may be. Hallelujah. And you, 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 you start forgetting. We start forgetting God. We, we, we start, God is the one that gave you that health in your body to go, to go to that job, to perform that activity, to bring income into the family, to perform whatever you need to throughout the day to bring income in. God does that. Hallelujah. So we got to honor him with the substance that we have been blessed with. We can't get, you know, we can't start getting stingy. We can't start, people start getting stingy. Then start having spiritual amnesia. Hallelujah. You remember when you used to come up to the church house? Hallelujah. You used to park on the back over there because I don't want them to hear the, you know, you close the door. We used to have a uh, um, seat belt. It'd get stuck past. That sucker was loud. And it wouldn't even go all the way up, you know. Oh, what a 93 S court, babe. With a little, little old sky blue, little old something. I look like Mr. Incredible in that thing. Big. <laughs> Trying to try it. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Hallelujah. But we coming to church. We driving to church, boy. We's coming to church. Hallelujah. We coming to church. Hallelujah. Didn't have a lot, but it wasn't about all that. I was just, I was just glad I wasn't addicted no more. I was just glad I wasn't bound no more. I was just excited about a new life. I was just excited about it. Hallelujah. And there was a fire that began to move. There was a fire that began to burn in me for the things of God. And, and I didn't know how good it could be. I didn't know I could live victorious. I didn't know I could overcome sin. I, I didn't know. But when God stepped in, hallelujah, but when God showed up, hallelujah, boy, I grabbed hold of it. I grabbed hold of it. Hallelujah. And I tell them sometimes, excuse me for my enthusiasm, but I know what the Lord has done in my life. Excuse me. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Our privilege to praise him. Hallelujah. You have folks walk to, you know, walk to church. Man, trying to get here. You know, Hallelujah. And then as through the years, you know, God began to bless. God began to move. And hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it takes time. People want God to change. They done been in some mess 20, 30 years. They want God to just change everything overnight. That's not reality. Hallelujah. It, 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 <laughs> that's not reality. But it, it, it takes time. Living for the Lord. Walking by faith. Trusting in God. I know what it is to have a sleepless night. You know what it is to have a sleepless night. Hallelujah. You know what it is to be up praying and battling, fighting for your children, fighting for your marriage. Lord God, how it's going to end. You know what it is. But I'm going to tell you the God I serve is the God that's going to bring you through. If I put my trust in Him, if I just trust in Him, if I just believe in Him, if you just stay put, you got to stay put. People want to chase waterfalls. No, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay planted. Because when you plant it, when you plant it, them roots get to grow deep. Pastor was talking about planted by the, by the rivers. Hallelujah. So when them winds and storms, you know how them palm trees is and those hurricanes. And it's coming, boy, like it's bending them back over. Like they're about to snap, but they come right back up. I got something.
something in me. I'm planted. Hallelujah. I got the Holy Ghost. I got some fire. I'm planted. I'm planted in the house tonight. There, there's some stability. There is some strength. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody. This, this ain't no make-believe. This is a real thing, man. And you, and you got to take it serious. You, you, you got to take your walk serious. So many people want to play games with it. Hallelujah. Used to be a praiser, man. I'm like, look, look. I'm like, man, run around the church on a slow song. I'm like, man, hold on. Go on, boy. That's all right. Don't let nobody cool your praise now. Don't let nobody cool your worship down. Because they sitting there and acting like God ain't did nothing for them. Hey, I'm not going to be that person. Hallelujah. I'm going to give God glory. I'm going to praise God. You know, well, they always, he always yelling and screaming. And I, okay, whatever. But it ain't nothing in the sitting either. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give up to high praise. I'm going to give up a high praise to this God. I'm going to give up a high worship because God has been good. And not just to me. And not just to me. Many of you, praise God, but I'm, I'm just so thankful. Oh, man, I'm, I'm just so thankful. What a privilege it is to praise him. Somebody get a Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the Bible says, chapter 95, verse 6, So come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. Hallelujah. So when we come in worshiping God, hallelujah, there, there's a, 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 a submission. I, I, I got to come humble. I, I got to come humble before you. I can't walk up in here like, God, you owe me something. Is you funny? So when I come before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, there, there has to be a reverence. There, there, there still has to be a respect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You still got to come to God the right way. So I'm not going to come up in here with my chest puffed out. I'm going to come humbly. Hallelujah. Because the God I serve. Hallelujah. He, he, he deserves reverence. You know, I, I fear God. I, I, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to push him. Come on now. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to play with that. For, for me to think I'm somebody. That I can, you know, push God in. Well, I'm now. I'm going to come humble before you. Before I get up in here, I'm going to lay prostrate before you. Before I come up, I'm going to lay prostrate before you, Lord. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate. Hallelujah. And when you say the word worship, this speaks of a lifestyle. When you worship God, it's more than just hallelujah, but it's a lifestyle. How, how does my lifestyle show that I worship him? Am, am I walking in a holy lifestyle? Am, am I walking like I should? Am I speaking like I should? Am I talking like I should? That, that gives God worship. And that's why people don't understand. Well, why y'all? Well, I mean, oh, you know, we, what's, <laughs> hallelujah. Blue Day Mom, boy, they was asking at the church, I mean, at the job. Hey, Lemons, what you doing? What you doing for Christmas? I said, Christmas? Boy, don't start taking nobody Christmas, boy. You, they like you until they... Well, anyway. I said, man, I ain't trying to take your tree from you. I ain't trying to... I'm just telling you, as for me in my house. You know, we going to serve the Lord. If you want to do... Hey, that's, that's your business. But if you ask me, I'm going to tell you. you. You feel what I'm saying? So I ain't forcing nothing up on you. Boy, they were shocked. I mean, shocked. One, one of my guys, friends, where he just blown away. What? It's just, you're always talking about Jesus and, you know, and I said, man, they don't got nothing to do with Jesus. You know, if you really want to break it down, that's a pagan God. And then, but they was looking like, <laughs> hey, leave him alone, man. We just gone over, you know, just, and I just like, you know, I just telling them. Now, I'm going to tell you, when you, when, when, when you live in this Christian life, when you really live in it, it's going to cause some separation. It's, it's going to cause some ruffling of the feathers sometimes. It ain't going to. I, that's just a part of it. Hallelujah. And I just like, hey, man, it's whatever. I ain't going to, you know, but, you know, ask for me in my house. 
You know, I say when I get my paycheck, everything going to the bank, I ain't got to worry about buying nobody no gifts that I don't like. Man, the God preached it, boy. He hit it on the head. I ain't, ain't got to be worrying about, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to spend any money. I ain't, I ain't no stingy cat, but I'm just saying, I, even B.C. before Christ, I wasn't really into it. I, I mean, buying gifts, and I mean, what they get me? I mean, buy all this stuff, they going to get me some little, okay. Anyway, but I just thank God I'm free this morning. I thank God I'm free tonight. Hallelujah. I ain't got to worry about it. Hallelujah. I'm just going to come up in here. They say, what you going to do? I say, we're going to be in the church house giving God glory and giving God praise. Not because it's that day, because every Sunday, that's where I'm going to be. Every Sunday. And yeah, boy, it blew their mind. They, they still probably shook up about it, but that's okay. Hey, Amen. I, I ain't living... You know, man, I'm, I'm just, I just want to glorify God. Hallelujah. And when you take a stand on stuff like that, I ain't saying you're going to hell or whatever. But for me to do otherwise, ooh, I can't play with it because I know better. You, you understand what I'm saying? I, I can't play with it because I know better. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, I privilege to praise him. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. And it is a privilege, I tell you, an absolute privilege to live for this God. Yeah. Hallelujah. And not just because of what he does, but because of who he is. Yeah. He's he, he good when you say, that's, that's him. He, he, he just good. He's so rich in love, so so rich in mercy, so so rich in long-suffering and, and patience. He's he just a good God. Yeah. So how can I come up in here empty-handed? So how can I come up on here? Hallelujah. Empty handed. And don't got to thank you on my lips. And don't got to praise in my heart to give God the glory. You, you got to repent of that spirit. We got to come before him with some words. We got to come before him with something. How we just can't be. Come on now. I'm talking young and young and old now. Hallelujah. Young and old. Hallelujah, young person, when you come up in here, hallelujah, appreciate it. Hallelujah, you're running around the church. That does something. You, you move something in the spirit. You activating. You getting up off that pew. You letting that pride go. Yeah, everybody see you running. Everybody see you praising. But you the one going to have the victory when you leave her. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I love it. Love to see the youth on fire. Love to see you running. Love to see you shouting. That's what, woo, man, that's why I like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what get me when I see you living for the Lord. When I see you, got an excitement about it. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody got to force you to read your Bible. Ain't nobody got to force you to come up to the front and lift your hands. Ain't nobody got to force you. Hallelujah. When the man of God see a willingness to live for see a willingness so many distractions right now so many distractions hallelujah but like I tell my boy he getting a little older we got to make God the center we got to keep the main thing the main thing hallelujah I don't care about you hallelujah you got to keep the main thing the main thing hallelujah you, you got to keep God you got to keep God in his rightful place. And that go for me too. When he see me, he got to see that I'm a man of God. When my wife see me, she got to see I'm a man of God. And I can't just talk because they watching me every day. They got to see me praying. They got to see it. They got to know I care. They got to know I love them. They got to they know it. And you do too. You got to know, you got to know where I'm at tonight. Ain't no guesswork. Hallelujah. Ain't no guesswork. Somebody get a Lord of hand clasp. Come on now. I'm, hey, he, he's just been so good to us. And 110, 110 pastors talking about that. Every area of life, I want to give my best. And I haven't done that. So I ain't going to stand up here like I'm super saint. Hallelujah. That's, yeah, that's, that's foolishness. But there is a striving. There is a desire. 
Hallelujah. I haven't, I ain't pulled out the white flag. Hallelujah. I ain't pulled out the flag of surrender. Hallelujah. You got your flag of surrender out. Put it up and get back in the fight. Put it up and get back in the battle. Put it up. It's, it's time out now. You done came too far to quit now. You done done too much. Come on now. You done came too far to quit. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. So when you praise God, hallelujah, when you lift up your voice to God, hallelujah, you're going to have some pain with that. You're going to have some joy with that praise. You're going to have some disappointments in that worship. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. But you're making that anointing all. That apothecary. Them incense. Hallelujah. You're making something. So now when you get up and sing, it's not just words coming out. But because you done been through some things, when you lift up your voice, there is a shaking on the inside. When you lift up your voice, there is a moving. So we make it. So you make us the work of the that are, hey, it costs something for anointing. Anointing costs, boy. Who I want to, yeah, no, nah, but it costs something to walk in a place where God can ooh, deal with you, talk to you. Hallelujah. And you're leaning on them. You're trusting in them. You're hallelujah. How can I not give this God some clap? Somebody get a Lord a hand clap. And I love you tonight, church. And I just thank God. I'm telling you. I thank God for you, church. I thank God for the leading. The leading. The leading of the Holy Ghost. I, I, I thank God for my pastor. Hallelujah. How he, he leads and directs. And try to do the will. You know what I'm saying. He man just like we is. We are. Hallelujah. And desiring. You, you can feel his heart. You can feel his heart. I, I want her to do this. But, but there's a heart. That there's a desire. And I thank God for that. And I, don't take, and I ain't up here trying to get brownie points. But I love you. Man of God. And you know. Call something. Amen. You got to guard what is holy in your life. Amen. You got to guard what is holy in your life. Yeah, so it, it, it take help. Somebody get a Lord a hand, clap a prayer. So what a privilege. There's so much in it. It's more than just pray. Hallelujah. It's, it's so much in it. And I was looking at this. One of my favorite scriptures in the Bible says, Psalms 34 verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. What you're trying to tell me in every situation in life, I got to give him glory in lack, in abundance, in need. Whatever flavor, I will bless the Lord. Continually speaks of a never ending praise. In my mind, my thought life, my process, I'm going to bless them. I'm going to give them glory. I'm going to glorify them. Every situation in life, in prosperity or adversity, in joy or in sorrow, it may be difficult to carry out sometimes, but I will. See, you got to make up in your. Hallelujah. I know what you're going through. I know what I'm going through. I got some stuff looking at me. Hallelujah. But that's not going to stop my praise. 
That's not going to stop my worship. You can't give that situation. You can't give that circumstance the power to close your mouth. Because that is a sin to not come up in here and give God glory. So you got to tell that situation. Not today. Hallelujah. Not today. I made up on my mind to come up in here. I'm going to bless the Lord God. Hallelujah. Somebody give him some praise. It's going to be all right. Yeah. It's going to be all right. We, we, we on the winning side. Hallelujah. I was looking. Just walking through the church. Do you realize? I don't know if we realize what God has done. Walking by, I see these old, these Sunday schools and these walls got all this, you know, the decorations on it, passed in the different rooms, prayer room and all that. I remember when we came up here, Pastor Carter, and we walked around this building. You remember that? We was at Brazos. And he said, and he said, let's go see the church. God bless us when we came up in here, man, it had, man, we tore down walls. Man, we was up here with uh, 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 sledgehammers, uh, crowbars, man, knocking walls out in the back. Hallelujah. It wasn't this one up here. Came up, they built a platform. I mean, they was, what, we was carrying the, carrying the uh, baptismal in. I mean, some, some work had to been done. Hallelujah. We trusted God, but there had to been, we got to move. We, we had to. Hallelujah. We had to put the hammer to the nail. We had, come on now. We had to knock the walls down. I remember that. And boy, when you up in here and you doing that, yeah, this means something. It's hard for me to just say, okay, I'm going to go to the one next down the street. No, man. It's some blood, sweat, and tears been put in this. It's some blood, sweat, and tears been put in this. It's some demons that been run out. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, it's some blood. Some blood been put in this thing, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Been here. Been here, boy. Plan on being here. I just can't wave bye-bye. No, it means something. It means something. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap. I ain't going to keep you long. I'm coming to a close. I pray the word of God. It's been a blessing, but I'm telling you. He, he's worthy of our praise, worthy of our worship. Awesome God and Savior. Hallelujah. Awesome God. Hallelujah. Let's go to Psalm 137, church. Pastor starting a new series on Psalm. I'm so excited about that Psalm, boy. That, that Psalm's. So much in it. So much in it. What I say? Psalm 137. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I'm getting there, church. Hallelujah. I'm getting there. It says, by the rivers of Babylon that we set down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Uh-huh. We hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof. For they that carried us away captive required of us a song, and they that wasted us required of us mirth, saying, Sing unto us the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Let me tell you something. Sometimes you're going to go through things in your life, and it's going to seem strange. And you're like, why I'm going through this, and hallelujah, why is this befalling me, or whatever. It's just a strange thing. Hallelujah, but you got to understand, don't count it a strange thing when trials and tests come to test you. You got to understand, God right there with you. And it says, how can I sing a song in a strange place? But let me let you know, you can still get up, get your heart at the tree. Get your heart at the tree tonight and sing the songs of Zion again and bless God and see what will happen. It ain't time to put the harp up. It ain't, ain't, ain't time to put the praise up. You, you, it ain't time to put the worship up. You get it out the tree or wherever you done set it aside. Hallelujah. And you begin to give God some glory and you begin to give God some praise. And something would take place on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Don't you know we affect each other? 
If I come up in here half cocked, halfway lukewarm, backslid, don't know if I want to live for the Lord, I'm going to affect you. And I don't want to affect you in the wrong way. I want to be a blessing to you. Hallelujah. So when I come up in here, I'm going to give everything that I got to give God some glory. So take the harp out. Get, get, get your song back. Get, get your praise back. Get, get your worship back. Somebody get the Lord a hand clap. Stand to your feet. Psalm 103 and I'm close. Hallelujah. So I got a reason to praise him tonight. His goodness, his mercy. We can go down the line. He's just a good God, an awesome God. And, and I'm just excited. I'm telling you, man, I'm just ex- I'm excited, Pastor. Like, you know, this morning, he's just so excited about the, you know, retreat. And that was, that's, that's, that's beautiful. Hallelujah. That, that's awesome, man. We, that's, that's, that's a treasure. Because most pastors could care less if you want to go or do something. Can care less about unity in the church. Could care less. Long as they pockets fat. We don't got that kind of pastor. So we got to be thankful. What we need to be thankful. We... So I'm right there with you, man. I'm like, Disneyland, whatever. We going. I'm, I tell my wife, hey, we, whatever it is. We going, pastor. Like, hey, brother. Yeah, you ain't talking. <laughs> you know, but I'm excited. And, and feel it, man. Just like, oh, man. But you got an expectation. You got, you got to have, come on now. You got to have a, yeah, I'm with you, man. We going. Praise God. Somebody get a little, are you excited? I'm excited. I like to spend time with you. Man, that's so, it's powerful. And we, oh man, it's just, hallelujah, I like you. I re, you know, I, I really do like you. I can sit and talk to some of you, cut up with you. I, I like you. You know, I saw pastor, you know, the other day, and it was just, it was nice. It, it really was, man. We just sitting there cutting up. He messing with me about my little old machines and stuff. That's all right. I got it, though, boy. Huh? <laughs> and my wife over there, boy, they throwing up. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I, you see, pride used to get me in trouble. I can go do that and, oh, oh, babe. I messed up two, three weeks. I say, you know what? I'm just going to let y'all do that, man. I ain't. But anyway, I really do enjoy the church. And, and I love the things of God. I'm telling you, I, I love it. This is, excites me, man. It, before I get up here, I feel like I'm going to throw up. But hallelujah, Woo. 40 minutes later. Woo! The victory is there. The presence of God is there. The anointing is there. And I give God the glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. I made up in my mind when I leave this house tonight, I'm going home with some joy. I'm going home happy. I'm going home delivered. I'm going home with some strength. With some some strength, man. Ready to face the week with some, with some. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction and crowneth thee with loving kindness. And tender mercies. All the benefits. Hallelujah, living for this Lord. He heals us. Hallelujah, from physical diseases. He's healing us from spiritual diseases. He's getting rid of the bitterness. He's getting rid of the pride. He's getting rid of anger. He's getting rid of jealousy. He's getting rid of envy. He's getting rid of it. He healed all the diseases. Spiritually, physically, all his benefits. That's the kind of God we serve. See, he come to make us whole. He just don't want us to be whole in one area. 
in all areas of life. And you know, some say, well, you can't have that marriage there. You know, marriages are made on earth, not in heaven. Hallelujah. But when you got God in it, and it's still a struggle, struggle sometimes when you got God in it. But I tell you, boy, when you get it right, when you get it right, boy, that's the closest thing to heaven. When that marriage, I ain't no marriage counselor. I'm just saying, partner. God's been good to me. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. So I leave you tonight, brothers and sisters, to encourage you and to leave this house trusting in your God. To believe, to leave this house believing in your God. To leave this house with some faith, victory, and strength. Oh, what a privilege it is to praise him. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I'm through. Hallelujah. Love you, man, God. I love you. Let's praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Jesus, we thank you. We give you the glory and the honor and the praise and the worship, God. That's it. Do the work of the apothecary. Let's praise him some more. Amen. He's worthy. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. What amazing God he is. He's an amazing God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise Him some more. God, hallelujah. God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you, God. Awesome God, King of kings, Lord of lords. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
You think about blind, blind Bartimaeus by the side of the road, you know. He's blind. He's got his beggar's coat, the one issued to him by the government. They gave him the right to beg for money, you know. And Jesus came walking by. And the Bible says, he cried out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. He threw off his beggar's coat. He said, I'm not going to need this anymore. Amen. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. And Jesus stopped in his tracks and worked a miracle for that man. I mean, he had to get through the crowd. He had to push through the crowd, you know, sort of like the woman. With the issue of blood, she had to push through the crowd. You know, sometimes the people, you know, they kind of get in your view or your vision or whatever. You know what you do? You just, you just, here's what you do. Don't be rude. If you can't see because people are up around the pulpit, just walk up there and get in front of them. <laughs> and I'm not saying be rude, but I'm telling you something. You've got to have something about you that says, I'm going to get what I need from God. You know, and you got to be like blind Bartimaeus. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. You got to be like the one with the issue of blood. There were people pressing against Jesus, but she said she made her way to Jesus and touched the talit. And instantly she was healed. Tonight there's somebody here. All you got to do is have that kind of spirit, that kind of attitude. Just call upon the name of Jesus. Praise your name, God. Praise your name, God. Praise your name, God. Praise your name, God. I, I am going right now, I am going to declare a word over you tonight for this coming year. And of course, it's conditional based on our walk with the Lord, of course, right? But if we walk with the Lord, and based on the Word of God, God is going to bless your life. In every area of your life, amen, I believe God's going to give you abundance this year. Feel it in my spirit. Not just words, but I feel it in my spirit. All day long, God's saying, this is the way we need to walk with this kind of understanding. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I bless every person in this house right now. I bless them. As sheer them, I bless them, mighty God, in your awesome name. By your word, Father, today. Bless them, Lord, I pray. Coming in and going out, bless them. Let them be the head and not the tail, Lord. I bless them. Let them be above and not beneath, Lord. Bless them. Bless their finances, God. Bless their families, God. Bless, Lord, I pray their spiritual life. Bless their emotional life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm believing, I'm believing the Word of God. I'm not just preaching. I'm believing the Word of God. We just needed understanding and revelation. I do too. About how awesome God is. Amen. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I receive the word of promise that is in your word. I want you to prophesy over your family, over yourself right now. Lord, I prophesy there's a change coming. I'm going to change. My family's going to change. My life is going to change. The situations are going to change in my life, Lord, for the good. Lord, I will walk in the victory that you have promised us this year, today, this upcoming year. I will walk in your blessings, mighty God, as I walk in your Torah, your instruction. 
In Jesus' name. Now clap your hands and shout unto the Lord. Woo, praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hey, Amen, God is good. Brother's talking about it, you know, Psalm 118 leads into Psalm 119 and and David said, the Lord is my strength. He's my strength. God's the one that meets our needs. God's the one that gives us what we need. And he goes down and he says at the end of that psalm, he said that God is good. God is good. He's good. Mm, I feel him tonight. I feel his goodness. God is good. And because he's good, he pours out of his fullness. He pours His fullness into you and into my life because He's a generous God. So as Bishop said tonight, we're not in an exchange. It's not an exchange where I exchange to you what you give to me. Amen. It's not about, now I got a need, Lord, or I'm going to exchange. But it's about the abundance that God gives us, His generosity. He pours it in your life. He fills you with that so that you can be generous to other people. I believe God wants to do that in your life. And I declare it over this church, over this house. I speak a new mentality. I speak a new mindset. I speak a new mentality. I speak a new mindset in this church. Not a victim mentality, but a victor's mentality. Not a victim's mentality, but a victor's mentality. Now pray this prayer with me. Give me this day my daily bread. And when you say that, you're not just talking about literal bread because God says he'll give you giants and the giants are like bread so when you say when you pray that prayer from this this day forward this day give us our daily bread I want you to understand when you pray that you're saying Lord give me a giant hallelujah Hallelujah. God Mm. If you, have that, if you have that kind of mentality, give us this day our daily bread and understand that you're eating giants. Then you will not have a victim's mentality and look at the giants in the land and said they're greater than us. God said go up at once and possess the land. For you are well able to possess the land. But you've got to have a victor's mentality, not a victim's mentality. They said, we are grasshoppers in their sight. That's what they said. But God said, go up at once. Mm. And they said, I'll give those giants to you like bread to eat. I'm t- in the Holy Ghost, I feel God speaking to this house. Let us go up at once and possess the land. Get rid of a victim's mentality and get a victor's mentality and eat your giants like bread. Give him praise and worship right now. Give him glory and honor right now. Woo! You're going to eat some giants this year. God's going to give you giants like bread to eat because you're going to change your mentality from a victim's mentality to a victor's mentality. I feel something changing. I feel a shift in the spirit. There's a change going on in you. There's a change going on in the spirit. There's a change going on in this church right now.
His glory is filling this house right now. That's what you feel is the glory of God. He's throwing his weight around. He's throwing his power around. He's throwing his attributes around. By my God, I shall run through a troop. By my God, I shall leap over a wall. By my God, by my God, by my God, by my God. I said, by my God, I'll run through a troop. By my God, I'll leap over a wall. By my God. That's a victor's mentality, not a victim's mentality. (laughs) By my God, I shall leap over a wall. By my God, I shall run through a troop. Jonathan was faced Philistines on either side. I'm talking about an army of Philistines, not one or two. And Jonathan, because he had the right spirit, he had, he had a servant spirit. He said, let David be number one. I'm willing to be number two. Let David be number one. And because his spirit was right toward God, he looked at those Philistines, and he said, God is not restrained to save by few or by many. And so he, he by himself with his armor bearer went on. And those Philistines fell. Because God is not restrained to save by few or by many. You just got to have faith that says, I'm going, I'm going to go after those giants. I'm going after the enemy. I'm going to see them fall. Because by my God, I shall run through a troop. And by my God, I shall leap over a wall. I feel it in the Holy Ghost. There's something changing. God is not changing. We're changing. God is not changing. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. It is us that is changing. Is there somebody right now that's got the spirit like Jonathan? It says, come with me. We're going to bring some giants down. Come with me. By my God, I shall run through a troop. By my God, I shall leap over a wall. That's a victor's mentality. Not a victim mentality. God, you're going to give giants to your people for bread to eat. Let's clap our hands unto the great awesome God, (laughs) King of kings, and Lord of lords. Bible says give honor where honor is due. Brother, would you get my water, please? (coughs) Where's Oren? Get your hand, Or. How old are you, Orrin? 17. You're 17. This young man, 17 years old, Brother Timothy, brought his tithe to the Lord. And I, you know, it's not about the money. It's about his dedication. It's about his consecration. At 17 years of age, he brought his tithe to the Lord. I think like, he, he writes in Arabic. So I had a little hard time understanding what he wrote down because he writes in Arabic. But I think like 173. What was it, Christina? You know? 173. He's 17. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Young man. 
Say praise God. That did something to me. Hallelujah to the Lamb. You young, you youth leaders are, are doing an awesome job. Y'all are doing an awesome job. I can't take credit for that. The parents, Oren, youth leaders, they, they get the recognition. Y'all doing a good job, an awesome job. Let's praise God tonight for victory. Like Brother Jonathan said, we ought to praise him tonight. Praise God. Where's Killian? Don't know? There's always a challenge, man. Let's pray in the name of Jesus right now, God. We pray for Killian in the name of the Lord. We thank you right now, God, by your power and by your strength. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you praise and glory and honor. We worship you, God, right now in the name of Jesus. That's okay, Brother Michael, Sister Audrey. You keep praising. You keep worshiping. You don't let anything that you see bring you down or discourage you. You keep the high praises of God in your mouth. You put a high praise of God in your mouth. You don't go by sight. You don't go by what you're seeing. You trust in your God. You put faith in God himself. Jesus. Jesus. The scripture says, they that do know their God, they that do know their God, shall be strong and do exploits. Come on. Break through the line, Brother Timothy. Run right through there. Halaboshe. Run, Sister Audra. Run, Brother Michael. Praise God. Praise God. Woo. We feel you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We know you're here, Lord. We know you're in the midst of us, God. There's a wall of fire round about us. There's a wall of fire round about us. God is in the midst of his people. There is a wall of fire. Hallelujah. In this place right now, God's presence is here. Woo. Listen to me. Listen to me. There's a wall of fire right now. The presence of God. There's a wall of fire around you right now. And the enemy dare not touch it. I said the enemy dare not touch it. It'll burn him up in an instant. He dare not come into that fire. He better, he better not cross that line. God's fire is around you, sister. God's fire is around you, brother. Hallelujah to the Lamb. I see in the spirit the enemy is standing and he can't get through that fire because it's God's spirit. He can't get to you tonight because the fire of God is surrounding you. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Then God arose and his enemies were scattered. Hallelujah, Jesus, you're the great God, King of kings and Lord of lords. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Amen. There's really an amazing 
change that is coming into this church, the mentality of this church. God is faithful. God is true. You could, I could feel it this morning. I could feel it in the prayer room when I was praying. It, it, it's just like the Spirit of God just rose up with His Word. And, and I, started, I started experiencing joy, you know, and just, just victory in God. And, just, and, 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 and listen, I don't, I'm not worthy of that, but it's through the blood. It's by the blood. It's through the blood. Come on, let's give God praise for the blood right now. We're not worthy, but it's by the blood. It's through the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare the blood of Jesus. We worship you, Lord God. We thank you for the blood, Jesus. We worship through the blood. We pray through the blood. We walk by the blood. We work by the blood. In the name of Jesus. Now clap your hands unto the Lord and shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. That's it. God, oh, whoo. Listen, listen, listen. Listen right now, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let God do his thing. But I'm going to tell you something. God, you know, the day of Pentecost, they got so full of the Spirit of God that they thought they were drunk. And I'm not trying to, I'm trying to tell you to put on a show like you're drunk, but I'm saying that God wants you to get so full of his Spirit tonight that it's like you're drunk, but you're drunk on the new wine. You're drunk on the Holy Ghost. You're drunk on the presence of God. Get lost in praise. Get lost in the presence of God. Get lost. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to Jesus. This is just a taste. Listen, I'm not, I don't believe I'm speaking by my own words here. This is just a, a taste. Just a taste, brother. First fruits of what God wants to do this coming year. Woo! He, he doesn't have to wait till January the 1st to reveal what he wants to do next year. Hey. Woo! He's telling you right now, you're just tasting what God is about to do this next year. Get ready. I, I want to tell you something, man. I'm almost, I, I, I'm almost feeling the T.G. Jakes. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm telling you the Holy Ghost, get ready. Now open your mouth that he might feel it. Open your mouth that he might feel it. Come on, run through another troop. Leap over another wall. Run through another troop. Leap over another wall. Brother Jared, big man, just begin to leap, and I want you to shake hell. I told him, oh, shake hell. Shake hell. Shake hell. Shake hell. Shake hell. Shake hell by the power of God.
Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Remember that story in Ezekiel 37. That army in the valley of dry bones. Amen. That's what they were. They were dry bones. They're disconnected. And God said to the prophet, he said, prophesy out of those bones. But he asked the prophet, he said, can these bones live? And the prophet said, thou knowest. Thou knowest. God said, so prophesy to the bones. And when he did, the bones connected, reconnected. The point is, it was the same army that was dead. Oh, God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Let me say this to you again. Where did they die? They died fighting for God. They, they died serving God. That's where they died. They died fighting for God, serving God. They died. God said, I'm fixing to do something. I'm fixing to restore that army, and it's going to be the same army that died. Oh, I'm going to raise them up as a mighty army. And the prophet begin to prophesy. The bones begin to come together. Then sinew, then muscle, then skin upon the bones. And there stood a great army. That's what God's doing in the last days. He's taking people that have died serving God and raising them back up. The same ones. It's his wind. It's his spirit that's blowing. Woo. Woo. You are the army of the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo. Get ready. God's going to use you this year. Because we're having a mind change, a mentality change. No longer victims, but victors. Raised back up by the power of God. Oh, hallelujah. Let's worship God. Let's praise Him. There are situations in your life, in the church life, even through history, that it was so bad that when the prophets looked at it, they didn't even know if it could live. But I want to tell you something. God can do anything. It doesn't matter how bad it looks. When God says prophesy, you prophesy, and the wind will blow, and I feel God's presence tonight. God is raising you up in a mighty army. 
when you looked at your life and you didn't even know if it would be possible. God said, I'm telling you, I will do it. I will raise you up. Lord Jesus, we declare it tonight. We're walking out of here changed people with a changed mind, a changed approach to life. It's not going to be the same. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. By your power. Woo. Woo. Praise God. I'm going to tell you something. We're, we're going to move. And I just call it a dimension for the sake of understanding. Dimension in God. That no matter what happens in your life, you're not going to feed on drama. You know, a lot of times we, we love drama. We love to talk about what happened to us. And we want everybody's pity, you know. But I'm going to tell you something. You get a place in God where you don't need that. Because it's a supernatural thing that you've got now that's feeding you. Hallelujah. I got the victory tonight. If I've got victory, I don't need drama. I'm not feeding on drama. I'm feeding on the glory of God. I'm feeding on the word of God. I'm feeding on victory tonight. Oh, clap your hands one more time unto the Lord. We're going to walk in a different mentality. Hallelujah. We're not going to be the same anymore. Hallelujah. We're going to move forward. And God's going to get the victory. God's going to do it. He's going to do it. By my God, we shall leap over a wall. By our God, we shall run through a troop. We will walk into the dimension like we never walked before. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We'll proclaim it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 mighty God. Lord Jesus, your God is good, amen. Hallelujah. He can do what no one else can do. He can go where no one else can go. Hallelujah, Lord. And we are seen in heavenly places in him. Hallelujah. And he will walk in him. He will carry us in. Hallelujah. To that dimension. Hallelujah. 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 Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This year, we're going to praise different. We're going to worship different. We're going to love different. We're going to pray for the lost. We're going to pray for the lost. We're going to be soul winners. We're going to fill this house. God going to make a change in all our lives. We're going to live different. We're going to love each other differently. We're going to have unity. In Jesus' name, things going to change. Walls going to shake. We're going to jump over walls. Matter of fact, we're going to bust through them in Jesus' name. And only by the power of God. Only by the power of God. Not our own might. Things will change. you got to believe the ones that are lost will come back. Things will change in Jesus' name. Our prayer life will be a different. Our prayer life will be different. Your dance will be different. Your mind will be different. And only God can do that. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Shout the name of Jesus. Shout the name of Jesus. Oh! He's our Savior. Not just tonight, but every day. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Whoa! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We're going to praise you. We're going to worship you, Lord God. They will make a difference. Today, 
today. We ain't got to wait till next year. Just like Pastor said, we ain't got we ain't got to wait till next year. Today you make a change. Today you make a change. We ain't got to wait till the morning. When you leave out of here, you can praise God in your car. You can praise God in your house. He's the one that built the house for you. You can praise him in it. You can praise him in it. He don't want to keep the lights on for you. You know what I'm saying? So spread his light in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. No more waiting. No more waiting. Activate your faith today. Right now. You want to make a change? Make it right now. Don't think about it. Just do it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It will be done. In Jesus' name. We got to have that faith. Like a mustard seed. Let that go. Oh, woo! Let it spread. Let it spread. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Ooh, it's done. It's done. I said it's done. It's done in Jesus' name. Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. He gives you the power to say the same. I want you to lift your hands and praise to your God and say, it is finished. By your God, you shall run through a troop. By your God, you have run through a troop. By your God, you have leaped over a wall. Thank <laughs> you. 
this, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's the way he looks at you, holy and precious. Are you in his sight? That's the way he sees you. Lord, we love you. Jesus, our God, Father, Savior, King, we love you. I'm sorry, God. Forgive me, God. I'm sorry. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy and your grace. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Wash me, O oh God, with your precious blood. Purify my heart, my mind, my spirit. <clears throat> Cleanse us, Lord, with your precious blood. <clears throat> Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Amen. Holy and precious are you in his sight. That means that you are accepted in the beloved tonight. You are not rejected. You are accepted. Lord, you're he you have healed us. It is finished. You have healed this body. You have healed this people. But we will walk in this newness. We will walk in this change. We will walk in this victory. It is finished. Hallelujah. Stand your feet. Let's lift our hands one more time to this great and awesome King. <clears throat> Lord, we stand together tonight as an army, soldiers. And before I let you go, I'm going to tell you what I saw. For you to be an army, and I've never seen this before. But for you to be an army, you're standing there restored from that place of dryness 
that valley that you were in. It is finished. For you to be that army standing here together, for you to be a true army, that means the armor of God. And I saw it in the spirit, man. It's like the armor of God is flying to the legs of his people. Phew. Your shoes, the shoes of the gospel of peace, girdle of truth, breastplate of righteousness, helmet of salvation, girdle of truth, sword of the spirit. It flew on every one of you. You are clothed. You are clothed. You are not naked. You are clothed. You're going to walk out of here tonight. You're not going to be naked. You're going to walk out of here clothed. And, and listen. Listen, God, God put the clothes on you. God put the clothes on you. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb. You're, you're walking out of here tonight having, you have eaten giants by the power of your God. Like bread. Woo! Amen. You're dismissed. Go to somebody and tell them that you love them and that you're with them in this fight. Amen. I'm with you as your pastor in this fight. Sister Kathy, thank you for being sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Love y'all so much. I thank God for every one of you.